In this video, we will look at a couple of examples to practice finding the distance between parallel lines. In the first example, it says find the distance between x equals 3 and x equals negative 5. Now anytime you have equations that are just x equals, they're going to be vertical lines. So in this case, we have a vertical line at x equals 3. And the reason for that is because if you think about it, all the points on this line have x coordinates of 3. So this is the line x equals 3. Then we're going to do the same thing over at negative 5. And now we have to find the distance between these two lines. Now the distance between two lines, the shortest distance, which is really what it's trying to ask you, is always going to be a line perpendicular to the original two lines. So we're basically trying to figure out the length of this line segment because that would be a line segment perpendicular to both. So all you really need to do is count how many spaces there are between the two and you'll get eight. So the distance between the two lines is eight units. Once you see the trick to this, you could realize that you could just look at the original two x coordinates and subtract them and end up with the answer of eight. All right, let's go on to the next example. This says, what is the shortest distance between the two lines y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals 2x minus 1? So let's start by graphing those two lines. 2x plus 4 starts at, or has a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of 2, which helps us to create some other points. And I'm going to make a bunch of points because I don't know exactly where on the graph I will need to be focusing my attention. So I want to make my line accurate as far as possible. My other graph or other line is 2x minus 1. So I'm going to start at negative 1 and make my slope of 2 in order to create some other points there. Again, extending as far as possible. Now we're trying to find the distance or the shortest distance between those two lines, which will be a line perpendicular to both. So now we need to remember that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So the lines that we already have here have slopes of 2. We could tell that originally in the equation. The slopes are 2. So the slope of the perpendicular line will be negative 1 half. So what I'm going to do is pick one of the points on one of the lines. Actually, I'm going to do the top line. And let's say this point right here, the y-intercept. And start making a line that has a slope of negative 1 half from this point. So negative 1 half means the next point I would get, you'd go down 1 over 2. Oh, and you're already to the other line. So this little line segment right here has to be perpendicular to the two original lines because it has a slope of negative 1 half, which is an opposite reciprocal to the slope of 2. All right, so at this point, we just need to figure out the length of this line segment. So to do that, we can use the distance formula, and we can also think about what is the difference in our y-coordinates and the difference in our x-coordinates. So x2 minus x1, the difference in the x-coordinates is 2, because the length of this segment is 2. And the difference in the y-coordinates, y2 minus y1, is just 1. If we know those pieces of information, it means using the distance formula isn't too hard. It's just going to be the square root of the difference in the x's, which is 2 squared, plus the difference in the y's, which is 1 squared. Keep going to simplify this a bit, and we get 4 plus 1, or square root of 5. So the shortest distance between those two lines is the square root of 5 or root 5 units.